Microsoft Access 2013, the ribbon. When you're in an Access database, at the top of the screen you're going to see tabs, and each tab has an associated ribbon. The ribbon is where you have your command buttons. The Home tab has a ribbon that has the most commonly used commands. The ribbon is divided into groups, and the Home ribbon has a group for the different views you can get into for the different objects within Access. You have a clipboard group for your cut, copy, and paste in the format painter. You've got a sort and filter group for sorting and filtering your data. A records group for adding new records, deleting records, spell check, and so on. And you've got a find group for finding data and replacing data or going to specific data and also for selecting. And finally on the home ribbon, you have text formatting for adjusting the font and the font size, the color, making things bold or italic or underlined. The Create tab ribbon has commands for creating new objects. So if you needed to create a new table or query, form, report, or macros, those groups and those command buttons are here. External data is for working with external data, either importing and linking into this current Access database or for exporting from this database into other applications. And your Database Tools tab has a ribbon for working with the database as a whole. To the right of the ribbon, you'll have a little arrow. This will collapse the ribbon. It will come back if I click on any of the tabs, but as soon as I click away from the upper part of the screen, the ribbon disappears. To bring the ribbon back in Access, you would just click on one of the tabs, and on the right, instead of having an arrow, you have a little push pin. When I click on the push pin, it will pin it to the top of the screen. And that's how you use the ribbon in Access 2013.